Hello gems, ever since the beginning of this channel, you guys have been asking me for my BitSet story and I feel today is the right time to talk about it and if you are a BitSet aspirant who is watching this, I'm sure you will be able to pick up a lot of lessons slash life lessons from this story. So I hope you'll enjoy it and I hope you'll learn a lot from it. So sit back, get cozy because it's story time. So basically there are two ways to get admissions into BITS. One is the direct admission way in which uh, the board toppers from their respective boards can get direct admission into BITS uh, without answering BITSET. Now uh, there are terms and conditions to it. You can refer the details on their website if you are interested. And the second one is of course the familiar way which is BITSET entrance test, right? Now why am I mentioning these two things? Because my story is closely linked with these two things, okay? so. Uh, knowing the kind of person I was, I wanted to go through option one. Yes, direct admissions. Okay, so I wanted to secure rank one at my board so that I can get admissions uh, into bits. Okay, so uh, basically I come under Goa board. Yes, I'm a Govan and this is not a vlog channel. So uh, yes, so I wanted to score rank one at Goa board so that I can get admissions into bits Goa. Okay, so uh, I prepared very hard for it. I worked very hard, put in a lot of efforts, hours and hours of practice and uh, practicing for board exams. Now I'm not going to bore you, taking you to, through the routine. Basically, the thing is I put in a lot of efforts for my board exams. Okay, So I also knew that this is a game of odds, right? Securing uh, uh, rank one at your boards uh, wherever you are is not a piece of cake, right? So it's a game of odds and BitSet was of course my plan B and preparations were going, side preparations were going which were pretty much casual, not that deliberate, okay? So yes, but uh, they were going on on the side, okay? So that is the thing and yeah, coming back to boards. So I worked very hard, I strategized, I saw that the previous year toppers had a percentage around 94% at Goa boards. So I adjusted it for the competition this year and I found out that I realized in a way that I have to score around 95% or plus to secure rank one at my boards. Okay, so yes, my board exams came after my preparations and uh, I answered my board exam. I was not pretty much uh, satisfied with my performance at boards, uh, but I was hoping for the best. Uh, when I got my result, I came to know that I was one to marks in every subject off from my expected score. Okay, so that uh, in it brought me down to uh, a percentage of 94%, less than what I was expecting. And what about the rank? Uh, all over Goa rank seven, impressive and not enough. Now time for plan B, which is B for bit set. Now preparing for any competitive exam, uh, I'll split it into three major parts. One is preparation, two is revision, and three is giving mock test. Now, uh, I told you about my side preparations for BITSAT. So where had the side preparations brought me? So actually it had brought me to a very fair level um, on the 11 uh, standard side. I shall say I was BITSAT ready for math and physics. Okay, so uh, yes, although I had to practice a lot of uh, more numericals and problems. On the other hand, 11 standard chemistry, I was not at all BITSAT ready for it. Uh, coming to 12th standard, on 12th standard side, I was bit set ready for physics, chemistry and math because uh, when I told you about my efforts uh, for my board exam, I usually uh, studied this subjects from uh, very good books like for physics, I referred DC Pandey, for math, I referred R.D. Sharma, for chemistry, I relied on NCRT. Okay, so yes, uh, so I was bit set ready on the 12th 12, 12 standard side but on the 11th standard side, I had some things missing. Okay, so uh, when I started deliberately preparing for bit set, I uh, know I can recollect it uh, that I had around seven months to do so. Okay, it was COVID time and our exams were postponing and uh, finally it was declared on uh, 17th September. Okay, so that was my slot, 17th September 2020. Okay, so uh, that is the day I answered my bit set. So when I started preparing deliberately for my bit set, I had around seven months in hand. Okay, so uh, in this seven months, I had to prepare my 11th standard chemistry. I also had to do uh, a lot of revision of all this topic. Okay, so uh, 
uh, I prioritized uh, prioritized all these things. I skipped a lot of inorganic chapters from uh, the eleventh standard, which proved to be a very good uh, decision um, when it comes to bit set. But I wouldn't recommend uh, any of you doing it. Okay, so uh, basically, because my situation was different, yours is surely different. Okay, so yes. Uh, i skipped a lot of inorganic chapters uh, from the 11th standard side i did my preparation well and uh, preparation was on point for bitsat and then comes revision i went for chapter wise revisions uh, in each subject uh, that also was on point then next thing was to uh, do previous year questions that also from every chapter i did that also on point and finally come it comes to giving mock test now here uh, is where i failed and Uh, I just started giving a mock test. I uh, when I started giving mock test, I had around one month uh, for it. So I had limited amount of mock test in first place, and my approach towards mock test was very casual. Okay, I never timed it. I never analyzed what I answered. I just uh, did it for the sake of doing. Okay, so I think that is one of the mistakes. Okay, so I will come to that when I speak about the lessons that I learned. Uh, so uh, my bedside dates came. Okay, it was I told you seventeen September twenty twenty. If I'm not wrong. Uh, so uh, before that, I would say I wanted uh, the uh, MSc Physics integrated MSc Physics branch in Bits Goa. So that had a cut off like the previous year cut off for it was around two seventy ish. So my expected score was around three hundred uh, to three twenty. Okay, so that. Uh, that much preparation i had done for my branch right so yes my bit set date came and i'll explain the exam day now so uh, i had the center bits goa itself so i went to the center uh, the exam started around 9 o'clock and yes i first attempted the physics section did the 40 questions within the first 45 minutes okay that was a very good head start then uh, my strategy was to go from physics to logical reasoning and english so that is what i had uh, planned to do physics then logical reasoning english then uh, chemistry and finally maths okay so physics i did it very well okay i was sure about 33 questions from the 40 and then i went to logical reasoning and english uh, it took me around 20 minutes for that uh, again and uh, there i answered a little bit of less questions i i was a little bit confused over there and i uh, i did not have answers to a lot of questions i think i answered around 12 from 25 okay not even half and then i came to chemistry now chemistry is where things get tricky okay so i went through uh, the chemistry side okay the chemistry section and i couldn't answer a single question from the first 20 questions and the pressure was building okay because i have to at some point come back to this questions and try answering them and also the maths uh, section is uh, left and also i am taking a lot of time for chemistry okay so uh, also i stayed stubborn and went to answer chemistry again uh, so i answered uh, till 40 questions so i saw all the 40 questions and i could only answer i think five out of them okay so five or seven seven out of them and then finally i went to maths uh, maths i had a little bit less of time because i spent most of the time in chemistry and that too uh, with lot of questions unanswered okay so then i went to maths maths also uh, i had a fresh start okay i had a deep breath and then gave it a fresh start and yes i was able to answer a lot of questions in maths i had prepared well for it and i reached a uh, half half mark in maths and i had very less time now so uh, my thoughts were like uh, should i do the 15 questions that uh, i am supposed to do in maths or go back in chemistry and do those questions so uh, i thought that uh, the chemistry questions usually will are not that time consuming so i went back to chemistry and it proved to be a good decision okay so uh, i think i answered a few more questions from chemistry uh, but again i ran out of time and that is all i could answer so uh, then i submitted my paper i was not at all happy with what i did and how i went about it uh, finally the score popped up okay so this is something which happens at bits at so bits uh, which is uh, they show you your score once you are 
done with your test okay so the score was like 2 to 4 uh, out of 450 i knew uh, that was again not at all impressive and not at all enough to for this time so some lessons to learn from my bit side story now don't panic if you are doing the same mistakes because you still have a lot of time to correct it so lesson number one i would say is that chemistry is not ncrt based now i know there will be a lot of people who tell you that bit side chemistry is very simple you just have to study your ncrt well and you'll be able to score good marks at chemistry in bit side now i however do not agree to this idea i would say that if you want to prepare well for chemistry in bitset prepare well for chemistry in j uh, that is the level i would raise it up to and uh, yes uh, that is a lesson to you that you should uh, prepare well in chemistry not just rely on your ncrt go beyond it okay so yes uh, that is for chemistry and lesson number two i would say is that to be more deliberate about giving your mock test okay your approach towards mock test should not be uh, casual like me like uh, when I used to do the mock test my approach was very casual I never timed it uh, I never analyzed my previous uh, mock test that I answered so uh, when I was faced with a problem and unexpected questions in the chemistry side and uh, the actual exam I found it difficult to tackle right I found it difficult to manage time between the sections so uh, it is uh, a necessity that you are deliberate about giving your mock test okay you are more intentional and you do everything with a purposefulness uh, when it comes to mock test or for that purpose any part of the preparation okay uh, however i'll also do a video on how to answer mock test properly so that will be delivered to you uh, when you need it the most uh, you can wait for it stay tuned and uh, another life lesson that i learned from this incident would be uh, to be more deliberate about uh, the things that you want okay so ever since then it became the quote of my life that uh, good stories are not meant they are made 